So what's up, everybody? Odd Man 105, aka the Odd One here. And yep, it's that time of the year again. That's right, we're moving out. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, as part of this week's ongoing Black Friday sales and discounts, all salvage yard properties are 35% off. Now, unfortunately, this does not include upgrades and modifications, but that's okay. I initially paid full price for this salvage yard when the Chop Shop DLC first released, meaning that I will get a significant refund once I trade this property in, which will also help offset the cost of anything that I want for the new salvage yard. So with that being said, let's just get right into this. Now, this video is not intended to be a full-blown money guide for the salvage yard property. If you guys want to see that video, then check this link right here and in this video's description for that full tutorial. Now, before relocating to the new salvage yard, I need to completely clear any existing vehicle inventory that's in my current salvage yard, either by selling or salvaging any robbery vehicles or scrapping any tow truck services vehicles. So, let's sell all the vehicles that we have here right now. Terminal. All right, two down. Okay, now that we've got all the vehicles sold, we are ready to relocate. So simply open up your phone and go to Maze Bank Foreclosure. And we want to sort by salvage yards. There we go. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. Now, as you guys can see, there are a total of five salvage yard properties on the entire map. Remember that it is never a good idea to purchase any property that's either too far north or too far south on the map. Now, in general, it's your money. Spend your money however you want. Purchase whatever property you want. Just understand that the salvage yards in Polito Bay and Sandy Shores will make setups and prep missions for vehicle robberies difficult. Not impossible, but difficult. Unless you're running the Big Tony robbery, which is a complete total disaster. But again, these two salvage yard properties are disqualified and can be ignored in my opinion. However, today we're relocating from Strawberry to Marietta Heights. And that's because the Marietta Heights salvage yard, in my opinion, is the best cost for location salvage yard because of its proximity to main road access and it's got an overall cleaner look, in my opinion. And like I said, you can purchase whatever property you want. That's entirely up to you. So let's buy from, and remember, it's 35% off this event week. So let's buy from. Uh, we're going to outfit the new salvage yard with the exact same equipment as the old salvage yard with the exception of the tow truck and you guys will see what i mean here shortly so let's go with the same color scheme let's do that uh we want the trade rates we'll definitely get that now the tow truck get the beaters tow truck okay and that's just because the uh regular tow truck is only slightly faster than the beater's tow truck. In the grand scheme of things, when running tow truck services, it doesn't really matter. So simply get the beater's tow truck. We'll do that. Oh, uh, the wall safe is standard and staff. And I had all staff in my salvage yard at Strawberry, so we're gonna get the staff here. And as you can see, fully outfitted, it's 3.3 mil, so that's not bad. Now remember that we get a refund on our existing property. So let's go ahead and click buy. And let's see what kind of a refund we get here. 
And as you can see, we can trade in strawberry and we'll get about 1.2 to 1.3 mil back on that one. So uh, yes, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so it says you already own a salvage yard. Purchasing this one will trade in your old one. The trade-ins will save you 1,285,000. Do you wish to continue this purchase? Yes, please. And that's it. We've been evicted. <laughs> okay, so let's go over to the new property. All right, we're here. There we go. Okay, so let's do a really quick walkthrough of the new location. Now, in general, there is no difference between the interiors of salvage yards, only the locations have changed. So as you guys can see, there's our new tow truck beaters right there. The beaters tow truck, which is perfectly fine because I hardly ever do tow truck services anymore anyway. We have our two staff over here. Now, the more staff that you have in your salvage yard, the faster you can break down tow truck services vehicles for a profit. So something to keep in mind. Okay, and you get both lifts as standard. There's grandma over there. What's up, grandma drinking her latte? Okay, here you've got the business end of the salvage yard property. Remember that the salvage yard is in fact a legal business that serves as a front for all vehicle robberies. So here is where you will plan and coordinate all vehicle robbery missions from this terminal right here. You can also walk around the salvage yard and find certain weapons and first aid, etc. Okay, and as you can see, there's Jamal, as per usual, sitting on the couch watching TV. This is what I pay this kid for. You got the customary bong right over there. We know what that's used for. Over here, you can get snacks if you want. There you go. We got full snacks. Okay, we have a junk energy machine. Let's grab a soda. I think it's funny that I still have to pay a dollar for a soda in my own shop. I think that's hilarious. We'll just throw that on the floor. Okay, here are your sleeping quarters, okay? So this is where you'll spawn in if you set the salvage yard as your spawn location. And of course, you have a wardrobe where you can change your outfit and your appearance. And over here is the all important wall safe okay this is where your passive income or your daily income is stored up to a maximum of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars now remember that the amount of daily income you earn is largely determined by the number of tow truck services missions you complete within a 48 minute period so the more tow truck services missions you complete the faster you will earn daily income And guys, that's pretty much it. That's what happens when you relocate to a brand new salvage yard property. Now remember that the Black Friday discounts on salvage yard properties are good through December 4th. So if you've been on the fence about purchasing a salvage yard, then this event week is your best opportunity to do so. So don't sleep on this. And with that being said, this video is a wrap. I've been oddman 105 aka the odd one and sound off down in the comments below and let me know whether or not you're going to either relocate or purchase a brand new salvage yard. And if you guys found this video informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a few likes while you're here and hey, don't forget to check me out on Twitter at oddman105 and I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe and remember, don't just start the fire, bring the smoke and take care out there.